hello guys welcome back to a new sewing tutorial so in this video we're going to be sewing this um, pencil dress with a total neck and a flay detailing on the neckline as you can see on the thumbnail so if you like to see that keep on watching but before we head right into it please subscribe to my channel thumbs up this video and let's get into it i'm going to be cutting this freehand okay and it's going to have as you can see from the thumbnail it has a joining at, at the waist length so i'm going to first of all cut out the bodies which is from the shoulder to the waist so i'm going to start now i'm going to do my upper bust length is seven inches my bust length is 11 inches my waist length is 16 and a half and then i want to add sewing allowance to you get so i'll just make it let me just use 20 inches so I'll go ahead and replicate this again and then glue everything together last and like join the lines. So from the shoulder, we're going to mark the shoulder. The shoulder length is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. I'm going to add 1 inch for sewing allowance. So I'm going to be marking 8.5 here. I'll go ahead and mark that same 8.5 at the upper bust length here. Okay. So still at this upper bust length, I'm going to mark my round bust. My round bust is 44 divided by four is 11 i'll go ahead and mark the 11 and then i'm going to add my two inches sewing allowance making it 13 inches okay so i'll now go ahead and connect here together and then just trace out this neckline like this of course this is freehand after when you are sewing the cloth you can decide to add, we adjust like the armhole so at this bust length i'm going to mark my round bust just like how we marked in upper bust length so i'm going to mark 11 here then we'll mark 13 okay before we head to the waist what i'll do now is to mark out my dart and for me to mark out my dart i'm going to be using nipple to nipple that's um or bust pan that is my nipple to nipple is nine divided by four is sorry divided by two is 4.5 so i'm going to mark 4.5 here from the bust down to the full length and i'll connect it together okay as so so now i've connected it i'm going to create my dart so my i'll be creating my dart at the waist at this waist i'm going to use one inch as my dart please if you are smaller than me in terms of size or you are less busty you can use 075 or even 050 if you're like maybe a size 8 so i'll go ahead and mark this same dart here one inch at, at the full length just like i did at the waist then at this bust length i'm going to come down by 1.5 and this is where my dart is going to stop at so you come to the the bust this way i'm going to go in by 1.5 okay so at this bust length by the side i am going to also go up and down by 1.5 so I'm, i've marked both my waist that and my embossed um, that so i'm going to connect this way straight ahead i'll stop it at this one inch sorry 1.5 below the um, bust length and then i'll connect this way this one to this yeah guys i am so sorry i didn't realize that my this damn part wasn't recording so what i did here was that i'm going to mark out now my my waist my round waist so at this round waist which is also going to be tension as the full length okay i am going to mark out my round waist my round waist is 38 sorry 32 divided by 4 which is this measurement that is here 8 so i marked the 8 this is the first line the 8 here so this that that is here the spacing between this is 2 inches i added 1 inch here 1 inch here so i went ahead and did the 1 inch here so assuming that you use your dart to be 0 0.75 what you are going to add next is 1.5 not 2 inches you get it back if you use 050 you're going to add one so then i've done it which is the next one the two inches and i went ahead and added my actual two inches sewing allowance which is what i had here and i connected it up to the bust okay so now i am going to go ahead and cut this out so the next thing i'm going to do now is to put a notch here like an opening to indicate where the darts are going to be i also do the same for the bust that and then the next thing i'm going to do is to use pin just use your pin and like mark here so that you can know at the back where it is going to stop at do you get where your dart is going to stop and then you also do the same for this side so the next thing i'll now do is to use this and cut out the back pattern so the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark out my zip allowance and i'm going to be using one and a half inches so i'm going to connect 
get one and a half inches and then roll everything together i have gone ahead to place the front pattern on top of the bag but it started from the one and a half inches that we went in here like for the zip allowance okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to come to the waist side and go in by one and a half again okay so i'll now connect from this outside here down to this one and a half zip allowance that i just did here okay if you are of a smaller size or you are not all that curvy one inch is okay you can just go in by one inch here and then connect from here to here so th this is what i have now so i am going to go ahead and cut this out so for this zip side i'll start from here and cut this out okay we are not going to be needing that that way when you finish sewing your outfit the back is very fitted there's no bulge at all you know if you have a perfect finishing so the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and mark out that same 1.5 zip allowance that we added we did initially remember we removed something here so i'm going to mark that 1.5 again here okay i'll mark it down to the full length and this is going to be our new zip allowance so this is where we are going to sew on and go ahead and notch it so that i can know you know it's easy to sew i also go ahead and mark here so i can know the back of this outfit because this is wine red it's very the front and back is very similar so the, now that i have done this i'll now go ahead and cut out this place the neck which is our because this close the total neck so i'll leave it this way okay so now let's cut the skirt part of this outfit my waist length is 16 and a half but i'm going to be starting from 16 and i'm going to mark my hip length my hip length is 29 inches i'll mark my knee length my knee length i want to use 37 but then the full length i'm going to be marking 53 inches which this is going to include my sewing allowance so i'm going to go ahead and replicate this again and then connect everything together so at this waist i'm going to mark my round waist my round waist is 32 divided by 4 i'll have 8 inches here i'll add my sewing allowance which is 2 inches here so at the hip i'm going to mark my hip my round hip is 53 inches divided by sorry not 53 sorry 52 inches divided by 4 is 13 inches so i'm going to mark my 13 inches here and then i'm going to add my 2 inches sewing allowance and i'm going to mark it here so i'll come down here and go like come down by 2 inches and just mark this way this is going to help eliminate any form of ear like so that the hip side is going to be very smooth now for my for me to get my round knee i'm going to subtract 7 inches from my round knee 53 minus 7 is going to give me 46 okay so 46 divided by 4 will now be 10.5 so i'll mark my 10.5 here and i'll add my two inches sewing allowance making it 12.5 so at this place i'm going to subtract whatever i have i'm going to subtract two inches from it so i have 10 and a half here so subtracting two inches is going to give me 10 eight and a half inches so i'll now do plus two inches which is ten and a half inches because this is a pencil outfit so i am going to connect everything together so i am going to use my hip curve now and then connect from here to the hip line you see the way it goes to the two inches below the hip so it will give it a smooth finish i'll go ahead and run the same for the for the sewing allowance so the next thing i'm going to do is to come to this center front and come down by one inch when i come down by one inch okay i'll then go in here by 050 from not the sewing allowance from the main measurement i'll go in off by 050 then it's from this 050 that i'm going to now come down and connect to this one inch at the center front at the waist but this place i'm supposed to cut it out okay so you are going to have like that you're not going to have any folding at that tummy area between the tummy and the waist so but i won't cut it out now i'll cut it out like during sewing so i'll go ahead now and cut out this front pattern and then use it and cut the back i'll be back this is the back pattern and i've gone ahead to like mark my zip allowance my zip allowance is 1.5 so i'm going to mark 1.5 all the way to the full length okay so let's get into it this is my knee length i'm going to extend my knee length and i also extend my knee length so now i've extended it let me remove this front so that you guys can see what i'm doing very well so at the waist here remember at the waist at the upper part we went in by 1.5 again if you're slimmer than me size 8 whatever size 8 or you're less curvy you can go 
in by one inch so i'm going to go in here again by 1.5 so i'm going to maintain this so at this hip length now i am going to go up and down by two and two and a half inches if you are slimmer than me let's say like maybe you have like hip 44 you can use two inches if you are like maybe hip 40 38 you can use one and a half but because my hip is 53 i'm using two and a half inches up and down the hip length so this is our knee length i'm also going to go in here by 1.5 inches okay and then this is, i will now go all the way to the full length so let me go ahead and connect this together so i'm going to connect this from here to the two and a half inches above the hip length then from the two and a half inches below the hip length you will sorry so from the then from the two and a half inches below the hip length you are going to connect to the knee length where we went in 1.5 okay yeah i want it by 1.5 so this is what you are going to do at the back side so the, what i will now do now is to add one inch here i want to increase the sewing allowance for the back that we have here so I'll add one inch here okay add one inch here and then stop the one inch adding at the hip side so this is what i am going to have well, one inch i'll connect this together then i'll now go ahead and cut this out for this side now we are going to cut from here remember we went in by 1.5 so we're going to cut from here and reach the knee length so at this knee length i'm going to curve it out this way and stop at the 2.5 below the 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 god i made a mistake here i made a mistake here sorry this is supposed to go this way this is supposed to come from 1.5 inches and come out to the hip length like you're going to go in from you know wanting by 1.5 inches so you're going to go in 1.5 inches and then come out to the 2.5 inches above the hip length yes yeah, so now this is how we're going to cut from the 2.5 inches above the hip length we are going to cut to the waist 1.5 inches and we went in so obviously here we didn't take anything away from me at the at the hip side so i'll cut it open so what i'm going to do is to insert back the 1.5 zip allowance that we had originally okay i'll insert the 1.5 inches again of course at the at the hip length here you will not have anything that is subtracted because we didn't cut out anything there i hope you understand what i'm saying so you, i'll add the 1.5 inches again and then to the full length mind you that this outfit i'm not adding lining i'm never using facing because this outfit the neckline is total neck so let us cut out the the sleeve so this time around i want to cut the sleeve so i went ahead to see I, this has like four folding this is the first sleeve one second sleeve two so my round arm hole i'm going to be my round arm hole i'm going to be using um 22 inches so that 22 inches i'm going to divide it by two that is 11 inches okay so this is what i'm going to have i'll mark 11 here so i know this is my starting point or my ending point anyone so at this place i marked 11 i'm going to come down by three inches here i'm going to go at an angle this way and go in by three inches and then from the beginning here i'm also going to go mark three inches i'm going to connect this place together so this is me forming the armhole so i'll now go ahead and come down again by three inches when i come down by three inches i'm going to mark my my like my my tricep like the upper part of my arm the upper part okay so my upper part of my arm is 16 inches so i'm going to mark nine inches here one inch as sewing allowance okay so let me also measure out here i'm coming let me measure the length i'll put seven and a half my my shoulder is seven and a half so i'm going to start from seven inches so i'm going to mark the, my elbow is 20 inches and then this is the full length so i'm going to mark my elbow here my round elbow is 13 inches divided by two is 6.5 plus one inch so in allowance that's 7.5 this is what i have here so i'm going to mark this 7.5 all the way to the full length remember that the full length of this sleeve had some form of um has a um, smoking effect okay and that is what i am going to be having here so i'll go ahead and connect these lines together i'll also connect this one here and then i'll connect this one here to this place so now when we go here when we measure out here we'll see that this place is now more than 11 inches you're going to have about 12 inches you can see you have 12 inches so one inch is going to be my sewing allowance okay 
so guys at this point you can see that the end of this sleeve i've gone ahead to like sew it for finishing do you get so now i am now i'm marking out the lines i'm going to use and smoke this um dress this sleeve remember that from the thumbnail you can see that there is a smoking effect at the wrist of this sleeve so i am using 050 as an interval do you get the length i use for this is six inches but then in between like in between the six inches i am using 050 so now i am at the sewing machine sewing along those lines that i i marked so that the smoking effect is going to do so what you are going to do is you're going to sew this to the end okay and it's the smoking effect is going to form beautifully so guys as you can see i'm gonna help to smoke this place okay yeah so the, what i'll now do now is to hold it this way and then sew it down by one inch all the way and then i'll now have my sleeve then i'll now connect so here to the main outfit so guys as you can see i've gone ahead to join the front to the back pattern to front and back together okay i've also done the that yeah if you watch you can see that the front part is no more the same length with the back it is going to be like if you have that encounter that situation it is correct because you know we did our our that yes i will remove two inches mine is two inches so it will shorten the length that is why i told you that that was why i added a lot of enough sewing allowance at the end part so i'll now place my zip here no another thing i have to tell you is that on this neck on this shoulder here if you watch i don't know if you can see it it is not straight it is slanted so i, I came down by one inch here when i was sewing it okay yeah so the next thing we are going to do is to measure out uh, now i measure out my round my waist length but i'm not going to start from the shoulder part because of course remove something from here i'll start from this this towards this the neckline so i'm going to skip this my waist length is 16 and a half but i'm going to mark out 17 reason being that my sewing allowance is going to be 050 so i'm going to do this as i've done this now i'm going to connect hey guys they've taken the light i'm going to connect this together and then i'll cut it so the next thing i'm going to do at this back now is to make the center and the size to coincide you see what i did here so i folded the back together exclusive of the front okay so at this zip side i am going to go up by one inch this is going to help you not have any folding or bulge at the back so you're going to have a perfect finishing so i'm going to connect it to this end but i'm not going to reach the end okay probably start from 050 out and then connect this so this is what i'm going to have i'll go ahead and cut this out then the last adjustment I'm going to do is at the shoulder. I'm going to, sorry, yes, the shoulder. I am going to recut my round armhole. Remember that I added one inch here. So what I'm going to do now is make sure that the down part go inside. This down part, the length is normal. Then I'll now go ahead and cut this out. My round armhole, I'm using 22. So I'll go ahead and cut this 22, which is 11 so i'll cover it so guys as you can see what i have here now is 11 inches so i'll go ahead and cut this out so guys this is the skirt part of this outfit as you can see but remember that when we, i was i was remember when i was drafting this out i at the waist here i went and can you see this line yes so i am going to keep my sorry just like how i did for the top side but this time around for the skirt but i'm using the front side of the fabric okay so i'll go ahead and cut out this one in here again just like how we did for the back so we're not going to have any folding in front here and i'm going to see that I didn't reach the end i stopped like 050 away so now i have this so guys the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and join this at the waist side top to bottom the skirt part and then we'll go ahead and join the sleeve to the armhole side I'll join the sleeve to the armhole side and this is what I am going to have. I'll go ahead and do this now. So guys, this I bent I folded this into 16. 
like i want to cut a flay that's flay that is on the neckline so this has like this is eight here so by the time i turn it this way it's 16 okay so this i'm just going to use this as my my round this thing i'll use one inch so that because i know by the time i open it it's going to expand okay and i can see that front there is no much like the length it doesn't matter what you use because after i can gather if, if it's too much you gather it okay so now from here i'll now get my length which is six and a half six and a half six and a half six and a half this side is not up to six and a half this part is like six so i'll leave it that way okay so i'll cut this this way so this is what i have let me open up this place okay so this is two of it and then the other one is two the, the like the lining this is going to be let me open this one so guys this is what i have you see you have i have this flay this is going to be one i'm going to join this together so it's going to be a long one long band then this is going to be another one long band so this is going to be the lining and this is going to be the main pattern so let me go ahead and cut the band for the total neck so guys you can see that this is the neckline so what i'll do now is to go ahead and measure out this neckline so we know what we are working with and i've gone ahead to fix the zip because you know that this is going to be a total kind of vibe. so i've gone ahead to fix the zip so i'm going to measure this neckline and what i'm having from here what i have is 16 and a half okay so i'm going to be adding one inch at this side and one inch at this side because i want it to have like that overlapping vibe so that i can use hook and eye to like close it so that will be two inches two inches plus two plus 16 and a half is 18 and a half then i'll now go ahead and add one inch this one inch, inch is going to serve as sewing allowance that's all 50 at this side and all 50 at this side so i can use and close the both ends do you get so it's 17 and a half i'm going to use this band to cut the neckline so what i'm having now i'm going to start this is going to be the center front i am going to, i'm cutting this in folding remember that our length for the for our our total neck band is 17 and a half inches so i'll divide it into two which is going to give me 8.75 so this is what i'm having 8.75 i'll go ahead and mark it here 8.75 i'll mark it this is what the length i'm using okay and then our the width of our band is going to be two and a half but what is going to one inch from that two and a half is going to be our sewing allowance so what i'm going to have remaining is one and a half inches okay so all 50 to join it both up and down so at this point i'm going to go up by two and a half remember this is our center front let me write it here cf two and a half then for this side part i'm going to come up by one inch okay it is from this one inch and i'm now go ahead and mark my two and a half inches okay so now i've done this i'll now connect from this point to this one inch here so i also connect it also this top one to this side so this is what i am having let me also connect this So this is what we are having okay this is 7.75 so i'll go ahead and cut out this part we don't need all this side okay and this is our side front that's the back side anyways so i'll use this and cut out the i'll cut this out with the material and the lining and the main material will have this um this part material like i'll not be using a different line i'll use this material for both the lining and the main pattern so guys you can see that now and i've gone ahead to like mark this okay so i've gone ahead to cut it i mean to say so i'll open it up here so what i'm going to do this is this edge i was telling you that you're going to use 050 and close i also use 050 and close this edge then i'll go ahead and sew this side together now if you want your color to be a bit firm you can go ahead and add interfacing but me i don't really like high total neck things because it makes me cluster for big then you close here 050 close here 050 then close this side 050 then you now use you now turn here this way okay as if you are doing bias turn here this way as if you are doing bias do you get what i mean so now you are done with this you now freeze the neck of the clothes here and then sew it very closely okay and make sure when you're closing it you're carrying the back as well 
so guys here i am running a loose stitch so that i can gather up a um, flea that is going to be at the neckline to be the length i want it to be and once i am done you can see i am trying to get the center like i'm using a shock so i can get the center this center is going to coincide with the center of the front of the outfit it is, the center of this joining is going to coincide to the center of your front outfit so once i'm done i am going ahead to like sew the um, the, the total neck and then iron it then i am also going to do the 050 bias form thing i'm going to do okay like i told you guys earlier on so now i am um, fixing the 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 band to the neckline of the dress i hope you found this video helpful Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.